There are seven countries that have invited a few other countries to speak to uh, global challenges that are affecting the entire world. Eneo lenye mandhari ya kuvutia la Chalivoa yapata kilomita 154 kutoka jiji la Quebec hapa nchini Canada. Viongozi wa mataifa saba yenye uwezo mkubwa wa kiuchumi ulimwenguni wanakutana hapa kwa kikao chao cha 44 ukipenda G7. Viongozi wa Canada, Ufaransa, Ujerumani, Italia, Japan, Uingereza na Marekani wanakutana kujadilia ajenda tano kuu. Ajenda ya uwekezaji wa ustawi wa kila mmoja, swala la usawa wa kijinsia na haki kwa wanawake, hatua za kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa ulimwenguni, njia kutumia na kulinda rasilimali ya baharini yani blue economy, uzalishaji wa kawi safi na ya kisasa na njia kuafikia amani na usalama ulimwenguni and each one of them ties very closely to our national agenda whether particularly when you think about our national agenda from the framework that it aspires for an inclusive growth that leaves nobody behind Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni mmoja wa viongozi wanne wa bara la Afrika waliowalikwa hapa kutokana na rekodi yake bora ya kuchangia pakubwa katika kuafikia hatua hizi za G7 nyumbani na katika mataifa kadhaa ya bara la Afrika. Over time there has been a growing demand for Kenya's leadership globally. Both as a thought leader but as a demonstrative leader. Rais Kenyatta amekuwa kielelezo barani Afrika kwa kuchangia CO2 ushirikiano na mshikamano wa kitaifa bali pia masuala ya udumishwaji wa amani katika mataifa ya jirani ya Sudan na Somalia. Kwake kuwepo kwa majeshi ya mataifa ya Afrika chini ya mvavuli wa Amazon ni hatua muhimu ya kuafikia usalama na uthabiti. Let us support Amazon to achieve its objective while at the same time assisting and helping our Somali brothers to build their capacity so that they can do their job for themselves. Tayari Kenya imepiga hatua kubwa kuandaa kongamano la kimataifa wa kukabiliana na ugaidi wa kimataifa na itikadi kali za kidini sawia na kujitayarisha kuandaa kongamano la kutafuta mbinu za kuvuna rasilimali zilizoko baharini. Kwanza tutalinda mali yetu ambayo iko kule nje. Ya pili ni kwa njia gani tutaweza kujenga mashua kubwa ambazo tunaweza kupatia vijana wetu waweze kuenda na kutega samaki kule nje walete iwe process hapa and that is the reason why the president has taken a lead yet again in the area of blue economy for the first time a country has offered to host the first global blue economy conference outside the UN framework and this is a demonstration of leadership kutokana na hatua kama hizi za Rais Kenyatta usawa wa kijinsia pamoja na juhudi za kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa ulimwenguni ndipo viongozi hao wa G7 wanamwalika Rais Kenyatta na marais wengine wanne wa bara la Afrika kujumuika nao kongamano hili linafunguliwa siku ya Alhamisi